Hey, 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 it's Tori. Uh, I just got off the road. I'm here at 125th. I came to see what's going on uh, with this listing so that we can uh, get started. So let's rock and roll. So. Um, front steps. Need a piece of concrete here and a piece of concrete there. It doesn't matter that all the steps are not completely even. Um, we can add the concrete and um, go from there. Section 8 is already passed and approved this. Um, and, that, and that's just the missing part. But Section 8 is already passed, approved it. Um, you're talking about removing the cement blocks near the house. You mean these two very large landscaping bricks? They're very large landscaping bricks and they will absolutely stay. Now, uh, next on the list were uh, screens. Uh, most of the windows, screens, screens, screens. Missing one screen here on this side. I see where we're missing screen number two at there. Screen three, those have screens. That one has a screen. That has a screen. Both of those have a screen. And uh, that's a bathroom window that needs a screen. So we're missing two, three, so four screens. Um, the four screens will be put in. Um, the house is already passed Section 8 and uh, city inspection. Now, let's go to this fence. Um, this fence, although the city and Section 8 passed this fence, um, this side is fortified. Um, and although it's facing inward um, it is owned by the empty lot owner um, so these guys just reinforced it for the city and the city said it was okay there's a chain link fence behind it that's concreted in I guess by the previous owner of that lot next door and I'll go behind and show it to you um, the city approved uh, this fence the guys reinforced it but there is absolutely nothing that can be done only because See this? What they did was they put a chain link fence behind it. Um, again, the person that owns this lot, uh, which is now the city, um, in order for that fence, the wood to be corrected, all of this needs to come up. All of the trees need to be cut down and the um, Cement and gravel combination, whatever they did, has to be removed. Um, so that's a whole nother process. A whole nother process. Um, the vegetation can definitely be cut back. Uh, if you can't tell, the grass is already cut and treated, and it just uh, is overgrown. But that can be cut back. That's always... Um, done the last day so that's an easy fix uh, let's go up yeah floors are pretty dope Isn't that pretty cool? So, he's talking about light caulking. I don't know why there's a balled up piece of paper on the floor, but I'll grab that. But he's basically talking about light caulking. And that's throughout the house. 
which is a one day job. Light caulking. Light caulking. Baseboards, doorways. That is probably a two hour job, which can be done easily. As well as reinforcing um, the trim and all of the uh, bathroom. Reinforcing the trim, um, putting a piece of Luan there, which is easy. Again, light caulking. Let me come out so that we're able to take a look. Um, shower fan, Bluetooth, all that cool stuff. Um, Bluetooth, music, whatever you want it to be. It's simple, easy stuff. And I get exactly what he wants. So this side has the handrail. He wants this caulk. That's fine. Caulk away, caulk away, caulk away, caulk away. Walk away. Walk away. I should turn on the lights. I'll turn on the lights. I'm sorry. <laughs> A little exhausted. But we'll get it done. Yep. Yeah. So what's left to do is literally Light caulking and the trims. Let's see if we can get, ah, there we go. Low light. Light caulking. Um, door trims and stuff like that. Um, so literally what's left to be done is a one day job. will be cleaned out and moved uh, all the leftover paint will be left here for all your additional trim work definitely your furnaces hot water tank the electrical boards are here they'll be put up and this is absolutely a hundred amp service line um, that's something that the inspector would have been able to see just going to um, the website or looking at the line because this is the city of Cleveland and a hundred service amp is the line that comes in which has nothing to do with us but everything to do with the city and it's already in on the pole so I don't know what he was thinking in that regard Um, but just in case he's a bit confused, let me show you what I mean. So, you can always tell that a house has a 100 amp service line coming in because you go outside, you look up on the pole, and you see the pole has three strand wire. You can tell those are three wires, and those are three wires, which means the service coming from the city, everything is braided into three strand wires. It's automatically a 100 amp service line. That's a city job, not a us job. We upgraded the house, the house electricity, and that's what we do. 
Now the city has already upgraded the neighborhood to 100 amp. Some of the older houses were 60 amp. And that's what he's referring to. Um, I don't know if this is a real inspector or what, but that has absolutely nothing to do with us. But glad it's 100 amps already. So literally, it's one day of stuff here to do. Uh, nothing major, no holdbacks. The city has already passed everything. Section 8 has already passed everything. So we're ready to rock and roll. All right.